All right, so uh, we started off with Amazing Grace. That's dedicated to the U.S. military all around the world, fighting for our freedoms, while the progressive left-wing lunatics spit on them. We salute them, okay? They, they, they don't, do not have us fooled. We know what's on their mind, and they hate the military. They hate the United States. They hate the U.S. Constitution. They hate the police. And I'm going to get into that again later, too. We have, first of all, I want to talk about the uh, war on capitalism, the economic collapse. All right? Now, the economic collapse had nothing to do with capitalism failing. The economic collapse had a lot to do with sabotage and manipula manipulation of the global economy by the socialist elite. The uh, Marxists, for the past 40 years, have infiltrated uh, all, all levels of the U.S. government and the global economy to gain control over it. Now, one of the 45 goals of communism to take over the United States is to gain control of the economic system, and that is what I feel has happened, and that's what we are experiencing today. They're trying to squeeze the people into forcing us to accept socialism, a world fascist government, a uh, global government, and uh, this way they'll have absolute power and ultimate control over the people. And they're going to use global warming for that too and uh, any pandemic that they can figure to uh, throw into the mix. All right. <clears throat> so that's exactly why Michael Savage is, is public enemy number one to them because he actually talks about this uh, conspiracy. And it's not a conspiracy theory. I mean, everything is pointing towards it's the truth. It's, it's uh, amazing. And, you know, the media is in on this cover-up, you know, because most of them are, uh, you know, uh, useful idiots. And they are, you know, Marxists, and they have an agenda. And that is to uh, uh, undermine this country. So first, I, I played this clip before, these two clips actually before, but I want to play them again. Okay, this is the first one is... Mike Huckabee on Neil Cavuto, and he's talking about how um, uh, the, US, uh, the uh, economy is being undermined and manipulated. And then, you know, this is probably the, la this is the last time I ever heard him mention it, so probably someone might have had a talk with him and said, listen, uh, don't say that on the air again. <laughs> and uh, the second clip is Congressman Kanjorski. He was on C-SPAN. And, uh, you know, he mentioned that there was money that was uh, taken out of the uh, money markets on September 15th. And in my opinion, this was like, uh, this was done to uh, destabilize the economy and the global economy to help get their front man, Obama, into the White House because McCain was, was uh, going up in the polls. And we can't have that. So, you know, and it was a perfect way we can blame Bush and the econ you know, uh, the Republicans for the economy. But meanwhile, this is a, was a global manipulation. So here's the first clip of Mike Huckabee. Hasn't fixed it. And what we're seeing is that markets are crumbling. Neil, I think that there may be something to a, a theory that was advanced to me by a person in the capital markets business um, who believes that we may be the victim of something that is pretty significant, economic terrorism. Here's the point. In the last 12 days, every single day, in the half hour before trading ends, there has been an unusual flurry of activity, ninefold from what is normal. If a person was going to manipulate the marketplace and to create, in essence, a collapse and a calamity, this could have as great an impact of any type of bomb that would ever be set off. It affects the entire world. What 9-11 did was affect the economy, though it affected human lives first and foremost. But this kind of, of act, if in fact there's something going on here, could be that bad actors are manipulating the marketplace with computerized trades, using late-in-the-day activity to, uh, to create panic, and because it happens so late, the market can't react to it, and then the media talks about how terrible things are, and that just further escalates the problem. I thought... 
did that because the secretary, look, I was there when the secretary and the uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve came those days and talked with members of Congress about what was going on. It was about September 15th. Here's the facts, and we don't even need to talk about these things. On Thursday at about 11 o'clock in the morning, the Federal Reserve noticed a tremendous drawdown of uh, 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 money market accounts in the United States to the tune of $550 billion was being drawn out in a matter of an hour or two. The Treasury opened up its uh, uh, window to help. They pumped $105 billion in the system and quickly realized that they could not stem the tide. We were having an electronic run on the banks. They decided to close the operation, close down the money accounts, and announce a guarantee of $250,000 per account so there wouldn't be further panic out there. And that's what actually happened. If they had not done that, their estimation was that by 2 o'clock that afternoon, five and a half trillion dollars would have been drawn out of the money market system of the United States, would have collapsed the entire economy of the United States, and within 24 hours the world economy would have collapsed. Okay, so that second clip was uh, Congressman Kanchorski, and again, uh, that was never mentioned in the media again, because they don't want the morons in this country to know that this was really an attack on our economic system, the global economic system. They want them walking around clueless saying, Bush did it, Bush, Bush did it, <laughs> because that's what they want, that's how they want you to uh, think. They're conditioning you to think like the moron that you are, okay, to, to accept anything that they, any information that they feed you. This is what they, you know, they're, they, it's brainwashing 101, okay? And there's a lot more, you know, to it than, uh, you know, that meets the eye. Then you, you have to scratch through the surface and see it's all fake. It's all a fraud. So, all right. Now, the liberals, do you, they think that uh, if we convert to socialism, the Russia, Russia and China will want to actually share world domination with the Clintons and, and Obama, and it will prevent the world war just by us converting to socialism. Gee, how easy. Okay, meanwhile, again, look at all the blood that has spilled to protect the American people uh, from tyranny. And, uh, you know, you know it is, if this is smiley, this is socialism with a smiley face. They're trying to say, oh, no, this is really good socialism. This is kind. You know, meanwhile, it's all about control and power, okay? And, and the, the people just do not see it because they are not being, they, they, they're not shown the, uh, the truth. And, you know, even Michael Savage, he mentioned last week, week I played that clip on the radio show about how when a nation is, uh, the further a nation uh, uh, gets away from the truth, the more it hates those that speak the real truth. And this is really what we're seeing today. That's why they want to target talk radio, the control of the Internet. They don't want the truth out there. They don't want, the, they don't want to wake up the sheep. They don't want them uh, uh, to, to know that they're in a game here and uh, they're playing games with your life, your retirement money. They're manipulating everything to gain control of the people and power and a world government. Okay, this is very powerful stuff. These people are very powerful. And, uh, you know, really, you know, I've had people email me and they say, you know, oh, my God, like, you know, and believe me, they, they're doing their own research. Some people out there really get it. And they say, you know, how are we going to defeat this? How? And I said, look. We have, this is in God's hands because these people, they're doing Satan's work as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, this is, uh, communism is, uh, you know, Marxism, this is all Satan's religion. And these people are evil, and they're using it to destroy anything good. And the progressive movement, too. Okay, they're all the same. Don't give me that crap. And then, you know, I don't want to get into it, really, but last week, uh, you know, one of these uh, uh, relatives of mine, 
You know, the guy's a closet communist. He's telling me, oh, I'm independent. And I'm looking, the guy's spewing communist views for the past 10 minutes. And then he has, he has the nerve, like, like I'm some moron that I'm, I'm going to believe him that, that he's independent. Okay. Meanwhile, he almost fainted when I said that uh, Bush should have had Pelosi, Reed, Obama, Hillary, and all those other stooges, Al Gore, Clinton, uh, arrested for treason, for undermining the Iraq war. He almost fainted. He looked at me like, oh, my God. And I'm like, well, why do you care? I thought you were an independent. No, you're a closet, progressive, communist, okay? And, and you know, don't, don't try and uh, uh, scam me, all right? 